Hey there, in this video we're going to look at how to identify graphs of linear functions. So most linear functions are usually written in the form y equals mx plus b, or if they're not, they can be turned into that form. So even if the equation is not already there, it can be manipulated into that form, which we're going to look at here. So let's look at how we can convert from a form that is not slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, into that slope-intercept form, which again is y equals mx plus b. So to do that, we're going to use inverse operations, and we're going to solve to get y by itself. So that's the goal when we have an equation that is not already in slope-intercept form, um, and we need to put it in slope-intercept form. We want to start by getting the y term by itself. So for example, negative 5y by itself, then we'll go specifically to get y by itself. So to do that, we'll do the inverse of negative 10x, so plus 10x on both sides. And that gives us negative 5y equals, because we usually write the x term first and the constant second, I'm going to write this as 10x plus 15. Now, as you see, y is not by itself yet. We need y by itself to be in this slope-intercept form. So to get y by itself, we need to divide by that negative 5 that is currently being multiplied by the y. So divide every term by negative 5 on both sides of the equation. Negative 5y divided by negative 5 is just y equals 10x divided by negative 5 is negative 2x and 15 divided by negative 5 is negative 3. So the equation in slope-intercept form for our original equation is y equals negative 2x minus 3. Now let's do the same thing on number 2. So on number 2, we want to get this y term by itself, and then we can worry about getting y by itself specifically. So to do that, we do the opposite of this 6x. 6x is positive, so we do the opposite by subtracting 6x from both sides. 6x minus 6x is 0, so we just have 2y equals. Notice, again, these cannot combine together. They're not like terms, so we can't just do 9 minus 6 and get 3x. Just like on the last one, we did not do 15 plus 10 to get 25x. They are not like terms, so we list them separately. So negative 6x we're going to put first, and then we'll put our constant second, which will be plus 9. At that point, then we want to go ahead and get y by itself. So to get y by itself, we need to divide by the number that's being multiplied by y. So divide by 2 on every term on both sides of the equation. So 2y divided by 2 is just going to be y equals negative 6x divided by 2 is negative 3x. 9 divided by 2, now that does not come out to be a whole number, so you can either leave it as plus 9 over 2, or you can write it as plus 4.5 if it doesn't clarify to write it as a decimal or fraction. So now we're going to talk about how we determine the slope and the y-intercept from an equation that is already in slope-intercept form. So we're going to use the two equations that we just got on the last page. When we moved them into slope-intercept form, these were the two equations that we got. So we are going to state the slope which comes from the m, which is the number being multiplied by x. And we are going to state the y-intercept, which is the b, which is the constant in that equation. So m in this first equation is, again, going to be the number that's being multiplied by x. So that will be this negative 2. So m will be negative 2. So the slope of the line is negative 2, which should indicate to you that the line is going to be going down from left to right because it is a negative slope. Just as a note, as we get closer into actually graphing, that can be something that can be helpful to think about, that it will be a negative slope, meaning it goes down from left to right graphically. Now for b, we're going to look at the constant. The sign does go with it, so that's going to be negative 3. So our slope is negative 2 and our y-intercept is negative 3. Now for the second example, we see um, y equals negative 3x plus 4.5. Negative 3 is going to be your slope, so m equals negative 3. So again, it will be a negative slope going down from left to right. And then our b is our constant on its own over here, which is going to be the 4.5. And so that would be your slope in your y-intercept from the equation in slope-intercept form. 
So we talked about converting into slope intercept form, which slope intercept form, remember, is y equals mx plus b. Remember that y has to be by itself. So that's how we get it in slope intercept form, by getting y by itself. And then our slope is our m, and our y-intercept is our b. So that's how we determine our slope and our y-intercept from slope intercept form. We look for the number multiplied by x for slope, and the constant is our y-intercept.